Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be talking about motion tracking and motion tracking is already built in within After Effects. Motion tracking can be used in several ways. I can, for example, track something to my finger. You can also use motion tracking to make a clip look more cinematic. Here's an example of a clip where I used motion tracking to add flares to the lights of the car. If you compare the clip where I use motion tracking to the raw clip out of camera, you will notice a huge difference because the clip where I use motion tracking and added the flares looks way more cinematic. Now we're going to dive in After Effects and I'll show you step by step how to use motion tracking. I got my clip here in After Effects and the first thing what I will do is I will click on motion tracking. You'll see that you have three options, position, rotation and scale. In this case, I will select position and scale. Now you will see that we have to select two spots. I always choose spots where there's a high contrast so it's easier for After Effects to track those points. If you have found the two spots, you go up to track motion again and you will click on the play button. Now After Effects will track the motion for you. When there's a lot of motion in a shot, which causes motion blur, After Effects can have a hard time tracking the motion. So there will be parts or maybe a whole clip that you have to do it frame by frame yourself. In this case, After Effects has done a great job by tracking the motion of the lights of the car. The next thing that we will do is create a new object. What is a new object? A new object is an invisible layer that has all the properties of a visible layer so that it can be parent to any visible layer. In this case, we're going to add the motion, so the motion check that we did on the lights of the car to the new object. So we're going to add, select the new, and then apply. Press OK on X and Y, and now the movement of the car lights is added to the new object. Now we're going to add the lens flares to the composition. Go to the start of this clip and adjust the position so they match the lights of the car. Parent the lens flares to the new object using the pig whip. Now the motion is added to the flares, and this is what we have now. Thank you so much for watching. This was a tutorial about motion tracking. I hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next.